Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new Disney Week video. Hello. We're rattling through Disney Week, aren't we? Uh, we hope that you've close. been enjoying all the videos that we've been putting out. We've enjoyed putting them all together. Um, even the disastrous bacon video. <laughs> that was that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but today we thought we would stay sort of in the Halloween spirit uh, the day after and we would do a tag that we actually saw on Emma and John's channel. Uh, we'll put their channel in the link below and it's a villains tag. Yeah. It's been a while since we've done a tag. I know it has been. Yeah. We were searching for what tags to do and we noticed that we'd already done the Disneyland Paris, the Walt Disney World one and also the Disney tag. Mm -hmm. So we'll put them in the uh, description box below. We did them like two years ago. Yeah. It'd be I... quite funny to see what our answers were. I bet they're different now. And we've got a playlist of those as yeah. well actually you can go to. But yeah, we saw this one on Emma and John's channel. We really enjoyed watching their tag. So yeah, we thought we'd give it a go. Yep. So there are 13 questions and we will pop the questions in the description box below if you would like to do the tag as well. And if you do, make sure you let us know so that we can watch it. Yeah. Because um, that would be really fun. So question number one, who is your favourite villain and why? So I think mine has to be Hades, which I know is a lot of other people's favourite villain as well. But Hercules is my favourite all-time Disney film, so... Yeah, I have to go with Hades. I just think, A, he's really sassy. <laughs> I just love when like, he gets angry and like <laughs> flips out and all the fire just like yeah. <laughs> goes off his Turns head. And I just love him. Like, I just think he's so good. I find him really funny as well as he is quite evil as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love Hades. And I would have to go with Scar. But Scar from the animated version yes. of The Lion King. Uh, Jeremy Irons just did an amazing performance and really made him just a horrible piece His of work. Voice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, I, I think he's quite hard to top in terms of villains. Yeah. Number two, a villain you would love getting in trouble with. <laughs> So I think I'd probably go with Gaston just because I can imagine hanging out in the uh, tavern and like having a good old sing and dance because <laughs> he loves to like show off and sing. So like we could do a whole big like musical number. <laughs> um, I just find him quite funny, like especially when people, we've never met him in the parks, but when people meet him yeah. in the parks, they always have a good time. Like it's always really funny. Yeah. Um, so yeah, probably Gaston. And <laughs> I'm going to go with Pete. <laughs> from the goofy movie um just because he's got that bit was it got like a trailer hasn't yeah. it and uh that looks pretty epic i yeah. love that bit just right. travel around <laughs> cause and havoc yeah number three a villain's bad side you wouldn't want to get on uh straight away i thought of cruella de vil oh hey she's just got a really bad temper and i don't deal well with confrontation <laughs> <laughs> mine would be frollo Oh, yeah. He is pure evil. He is terrifying. Yes. Um, and, yeah, no. I wouldn't want to get on the bad of, side of him. Does he ever sort of crack any jokes or show any signs of humour? No. no. He's just scary. He is. I remember watching Hunchback for the first time only a few months ago and just being like, this is dark. Yeah, he is dark. <laughs> I would not want to be on the bad side of him. So, question number four. Favourite villain quote? Mine's from Toy Story 2 and Stinky Pete the Prospector and he says to Woody, it's when they're in the airport at the end, and he says, uh, it's up to you, Woody. You can go to Japan together or in pieces. He's fixed you once, he can fix you again. Now get in the box. <laughs> That's a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got two. I think the one which sprung to my mind, because it's like the most evil quote ever, is Scar when he goes, long live the king. And then yeah. kills Mufasa. Like, that is just... The delivery. Like, that is the ultimate villain. Like, I... Oh, yeah. it gives me shivers. Yeah. Like, it's horrible. Well, the act of what he's doing. And yeah. he's... You know, he knows full well what he's doing as well. Yeah. Oh. It's his brother. It's just the most, like, epic villain line. <laughs> but then the one which just always makes me laugh is Ursula when she does... Oh, um, yeah. You'll have your looks, your pretty face... I don't ever underestimate the importance of body language. <laughs> <laughs> Just how she says it, that she does a little wiggle. <laughs> I love it, it's so sassy. <laughs> Number five is your favourite villain's song. Uh, easy. I mean, he's showing up a lot in this particular tag, but it's Scar. But again, it's from the animated version. Mm. Uh, be prepared. Yeah. 
that is an epic oh, song. Love that song. I love the whole scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, with all the hyenas, mm-hmm. it's really scary, but it's good. I think mine is Hellfire, which is Frollo's <laughs> song. And this is just because when we were last doing a contract on the ship, um, our friend Tom <laughs> told us <laughs> that basically he loves Frollo and I feel like he would make a really good Frollo oh, yeah, if it ever, yeah. like, they were casting for it. And he, in his cabaret set on the ship, he used to sing Hellfire. And just because it's such a dramatic, like, it's such an epic song. Like, the whole score of Hunchback is yeah. incredible. And it's such a good song. But it used to make me laugh because I could just imagine, like, I think he sang it in, like, the atrium, which is, like, the um, middle of the ship where people are having cocktails and stuff. <laughs> and I could just imagine him, like, singing this really dramatic hellfire song <laughs> as people are, like, sipping their drinks. And, oh, it just used to make me laugh. Um, and then ever since then, we just used to sing it all the time. Yeah. Um, when Whenever we got like annoyed, you'd be like, Hellfire! <laughs> yeah. I just think it's such a good song. It's like the best villain song. Yeah. So good. Number six is the most relatable villain. Well, my immediate thoughts were sort of the same as John actually when he did this tag of, um, I think, Sid from mm. Toy Story. You've seen a lot of kids that are like that, you know, and you see them when you're out and about as well if they've got toys and they're just like smashing it right. off a table or throwing it away. Yeah, so yeah. I think. I, I, I said to you before, I said that I think there is a, there is a, even if it's a tiny part, there's a there's a little part of Sid within each of us. <laughs> I don't ruin my toys. No, but like not without without you noticing. So like when you're growing up, when you're a kid, when you're oh, like a, yeah. a really little kid and you're literally just yes, yeah, you're them. eating the toys, putting them in your mouth yeah. and you're throwing them round and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So I think Mine is Gabby Gabby from Toy Story as well, but Toy Story 4. Yeah. Um, I don't want to give away any spoilers just in case people haven't seen it, but I just think she is quite relatable because if you've seen the film, you'll know that even though she's evil, she's evil for a reason, and I think that reason makes her, like, I felt a bit sorry for her. Yeah. Like, I don't want to give away anything just in case. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, probably Gabby Gabby. Number seven is the most overrated villain. I think we're both the same for this, and I think it's Jafar from Aladdin. Yeah. Even though he's, like, one of the most famous villains, I don't know, like, something about him... I think there's more about his, <sighs> his look, which is villainous, and, yeah, his actions to a degree, but I don't think he's as yeah. villainous as some of the other characters. yeah. I think he's, yeah, just a bit overrated. Like, he's not... Compared to the other villains that have, like, a little bit of something about them. Mm. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I've just never really been like, oh, Jafar. Number eight is most underrated villain. Now, I've got quite a funny one for this because I was just looking at our um, DVD and Blu-ray collection and I remember that Parent Trap is a Disney film so I'm going to go with Meredith Blake yeah (laughs) she's such a good villain and she's really underrated but the Parent Trap used to be like one of my favourite films when I was younger like I could quote I I, I think we watched it recently and I could still like quote a lot of it every time we put it on (laughs) you can just reel off the script like I loved it and I love Meredith Blake um so yeah, I think she's she's quite underrated. And if you're on Twitter, you might have seen that the actor who's playing the dad, uh, I can't remember his name, but he has recently got engaged to a woman in her 20s. And I think he's in like his 60s. So it's really like the storyline uh-huh. of him and Meredith Blake. And then the actress that played Meredith Blake um, tweeted... Uh, look out for those twins and it just made me laugh so I was like yes Meredith Blake <laughs> um, I'm going to go with uh, Monsters Inc and Randall because he's he's trying to out Mike and Sully yeah. uh, and he's, he's trying to bring them down and nobody does that to Mike and Sully <laughs> Randall's been told number nine is your favourite villain scene in a movie so this is weird, actually, because we've gone for uh, most overrated. We've gone for Jafar, but actually, my favourite villain scene includes Jafar. So, yeah. it's, it's, so it's the actual. It's the scene where at the end of Aladdin, where he uh, wants to become the most all-powerful genie, and the visuals of that I love, and I always look forward to that when I'm watching the film. Yeah, <laughs> it's epic. I'm gonna go with another really famous scene. But it's Simba and Scar, their fight 
at -hmm. the end um, of Lion King. And I actually like it in both. It's really epic in the live action, um, but nothing will beat the animated version. Um, But I just think that's a really epic scene. Yeah. Um, And I remember as a child, I was just like gripped to it. And I also like how it it goes back to when Scar was with Mufasa Mm -hmm. and they like, it goes back to that, doesn't it? Yeah, it sort of recreated it, yeah. When when Simba's doing it to Scar. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's good seeing that. (laughs) So number 10 is, if you could choose any movie to watch from that villain's perspective, which movie would you choose and what would it be called? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go back to Stinky Pete. (laughs) Um, And it's going to be called, He's Out of His Box. (laughs) And it's like the downfall of Stinky Pete. That's good. I would like to watch Frozen from the point of view of Hans <laughs> from yeah. the beginning because it'd be really interesting to see how he acts when he's with Anna mm. and then it would show the other side so when he's not with her yeah, and he's yeah, like scheming yeah. and yeah. what he's actually thinking in the scenes is probably mm-hmm. so different to the way he's acting. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, what could I call it? What would you call it? I, we've come up before and I mean, we would call it, I love crazy. Because <laughs> he is crazy. <laughs> um, but like taken from Love is an Open Door. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, like that. <laughs> Number 11 is your favourite villain merchandise. Uh, this is really hard because I don't actually have any villain merchandise. No. The only thing I can think of that I ever owned was a small toy that I got out of a Happy Meal when I was a child, and it was a Vempera Zerg. <laughs> um, but whenever we go to Disney, we always love the Lotso Bear. Yes. So I think I'd have to choose him because he smells the strawberries. Well. Yes. Oh, sorry, yeah. And then also we went to Disney World. Was it Disney World? Did we got this? Uh, no, dad? Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris, sorry. The uh, shirt with Scar on, and it says... Uh, I'm surrounded by idiots. Yeah, that's a good a good piece of merch. We we need to actually invest in some more villain merch. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look out for them now. Mm. Yeah. Number twelve is your least favourite villain. I'm going with I've seen the film Pocahontas, mm. but I don't really remember him from that was it. That's the same as Emma, wasn't it? Um yeah, Just Governor Ratcliffe. Yeah. I don't really remember He's a lot not about the best him. villain. So I would have to say him. Yeah. I think mine's gonna be the same as the overrated, probably Jafar. Right. I just don't really get Jafar. You don't like, connect. I, just, I don't connect with him. <laughs> don't get don't get him. That's why I gave you an evil stare once in Disneyland yeah. Paris. <laughs> He's scary in <laughs> Disneyland Paris. Yeah. And the last question, number thirteen, your favourite villain sidekick. Uh I've gone with LeFou. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I I like him in both. I like um him in the animated and in the live action film. Mm. Um, same with uh, Gaston, actually. I like him both. Um, I just think he's got re- that that song in the in the bar yeah. with Gaston is one of my favourites. He's funny, isn't he? Yeah. And he's not that evil. Like no. he's just follows. And in the animated, he's very Gaston. clumsy. And yeah. I think I sympathise with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think mine have to be Pain and Panic from Hercules. Yeah. I love Pain. I'd love some Pain and Panic merchandise. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Um, and when they came to your head, you literally just like jumped out of your chair. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just really funny, and I just like them. They've um, got that strange voice. <laughs> yeah, I just I think they're great. They're really good. They're good psychics. So that is our Disney villain tag. Thank you so much for watching. And if you decide to do the tag as well, please let us know because we would love to watch it. And a big thank you to Emma and John as well. And their video will be linked below. But for now, that is it. And we will see you in our next Disney Week video, which will be tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.